Hello everybody, today we're making a video about Stillman X and we doing vapor management. So a lot of people, um, some customers ask us to make this video in English language. We already have a Russian video and we there made subtitles. So if you like to see and uh, read what's going on over there, link is going to be in the description as well. But today a few words in English uh, about my opinion and the way we recommend doing by this way. So what do we got today? The standard Stil Stillman X, which is mine and I take it from home where we're also shooting a videos to the office. Sometimes we, we need to like a shoot, edit and post. <laughs> yeah. And over here there's my 50 liter boiler there. Only like 10 liters of uh, low wines and they are 42 ABV. So pretty high proof for the low wines and uh, we're using vapor management right now we're just heating up with our heating element which is turned into the control box this is m2 plus so you can regulate with the voltage there's a two switches for the heating element to turn half of the heating element and uh, additional display for understanding how what power we have and right now we have only two and a half kilowatt and this happens because we have uh, another distiller running over here. This is uh, Vadim's distiller and run, right now it's running with, uh, as you can see, liquid management unit and uh, distillation plate column with uh, bubble copper plates. Yeah, so he's uh, making some fruit distillate. Uh, so two stills are running and that's why there's not enough power <laughs> to have another one running with the full power. The full power can be with this distiller about three, three and a half kilowatt depending on the packing you have inside. So right now I will be using only three uh, Cooper mesh rolls. Uh, the reason why we have apple uh, low wines. So there are a lot of flavor and I would like to keep it. Uh, the using liquid management unit is better for making neutral spirit as I said in the previous video. Well, it's probably going to be over here. So liquid management is better to use when you have accurate heating source. For example, a uh, control box where you have accurate adjusted by voltage, for example. A gas burner with a really, really good needle valve where you can adjust the needle amount of gas. Uh, and maybe like an induction cooker, which is also like smart one like we have in Russia. Uh, and pretty expensive actually. But with the vapor manager, you don't have to think about the heating source. You also need to remember about packing you install to your distiller. For example, you cannot run higher than like 1,500 watts with the SPP, which is included with this distiller. But you can put packing and run with the power up to 3.5 kilowatt, and it's gonna be fine. And we would run this power uh, on this distiller but as I said before we don't have enough power <laughs> to use so we are running only on two and a half yeah two and a half kilowatts so it's pretty fine for me and right now the column is already working and we running with a full reflux so I do it for the like five maybe ten min more and then I open the needle valve use the liquid management to cut off four shorts and heads and then I will collect hearts. These uh, low wines I have really good taste and really good flavor. So uh, by adding Cooper mash only three rolls, I will kill, I will save the needed amount of flavor and taste, and it's gonna be like fine for me. I would personally uh, use uh, like Cooper column with plates, only like two stages, maybe one to have like a lot of uh, taste and flavor but this video is about this distiller and what you're able to make just like uh, right from the box. By adding more Cooper mash or stainless steel mash you can increase uh, your final ABV of the hearts so there's like a way to go with that and you can uh, understand by trying like a few times what's best for you like one uh, two or three rolls of mesh, no, no matter the Cooper ones or stainless steel, it's only up to you. 
So what I'm trying to say, the main thing of vapor management is you can use it in the beginnings when you don't have like accurate heating source. You can open this ball valve and collect uh, hearts, foreshorts, heads, tails, whatever you want to, uh, just by using this one when you don't have like a really accurate adjustable heating source. Uh, the liquid management is also will be working fine, but if you want to have and collect really uh, high proof alcohol, which is like 96 ABV, uh, it's better to use the liquid management because you can use a distiller with maximum performance by using SPP, liquid management and accurate control box with heating elements. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So. Ball valve is very easy to make fine distillate, uh, like pretty good one, neutral spirit. But for the best result, for myself, I'm choosing this liquid management SPP, and then adjust with, uh, and then I have to adjust it to 1.1 liter an hour, as we showed in the previous video, as I said. So, yeah, it's time to. Take our take off our four shorts and heads. Let's install, uh, put a jar for four shorts, and open the needle valve. Right now, I will adjust uh, to the like a. Uh, two or three drops per second and it's gonna be fine for me. Uh, I'm not going to like take one drop a second, it's too slow and uh, we just have like not a huge amount of alcohol there, there's only 10 liters. So this video is only to show uh, the process. And we got drops of four shorts. Maybe close a little bit more. We have like a four drops. Yeah, so right now we just need to wait for some time to take off our four shorts and heads and then open the ball valve. I think it's gonna take for us like a 40 minutes, maybe an hour. So we will come up later on. So we collected like a almost a full jar of heads and four shorts. Uh, let me just install another hose and we start collecting our hearts. So let's turn off the needle valve, install the hose. Over here I just use 10 millimeter stainless steel tube and that's why it's pretty easy to install another piece of silicone, but it's too big. Need to take another one, a bit smaller. <laughs> so, four shorts and heads. Yep, pretty bad smell. Anyway, uh, let's open the ball valve. And currently, we just need to turn it full up to the other position, and that's gonna be fine for us. And we probably should install the parrot for understanding what's proof of our, of our alcohol. Yeah. So we installed the parrot, we changed the build a little bit our hoses just to fit uh, perfectly and for <laughs> looking better. As you can see, the product collection adapter there, we can see the how many drops per second or, or currently we have uh, what liquid speed is there. Uh, just nice thing to look after. And over here we have a parrot where is we have 89-88 uh, ABV. Maybe you're interested in the speed uh, of uh, product which we're collecting. Let's measure.
so as you can see we have 44 45 mils per minute yep are we shooting yeah so we got 44 45 mils per sec per minute sorry which is about 2 liters and 700 milliliters an hour as well the result is pretty good there's a lot of flavor i hope there's a lot of taste as well but i need to mix it with the water to understand better anyway uh, these parameters we got only because we have the huge amount of alcohol inside of your our boiler uh, we have only three rolls of mesh and ball valve is fully opened and power is 2500 watts if these parameters will change the this speed is going to be different but the main thing about this distiller and actually the vapor management is the amount of alcohol you have inside of your boiler so right now we have 83 degrees uh, celsius in a boiler so there's a huge amount of alcohol and that's why uh, by the proportion uh, diameter in this vapor management unit we have uh, this speed of alcohol if you want to have uh, more proof more abv you can just close the ball valve to like a third position uh, like of, of rotation of this unit or maybe just a little bit yeah, but I will stay on fully opened because I need to have flavor and taste at the final product. Yeah. The flavor of apples, nice. Yeah. I think it's gonna be good. Anyway, very simple to use, as you see. Uh, when you have a power up to 2000 watts, 3000 watts, you can still use this distiller. The amount of water is taken is really, really small because you have uh, like a very, very powerful condenser. And on the upper side, we have a spiral Graham coil condenser where the spiral around the cold finger, as we call this thing. So, when should you end a process of collecting hearts? For myself, I know my equipment. I know what I'm distilling each time, so I look after the temperature in the boiler, temperature of no return and an extension, and depending on the product I have, I will end the distillation of hearts and then go to tails and collect them to the other jar. Uh, but for beginners, it might be difficult to understand where should I end it. So the first recommendation is going to be just to make cards uh, during the whole distillation process. For 500 mils or like a quartz or something like that, small jars where you can, uh, after the distillation, taste in each one, smell the flavor and understand what you want to collect to the whole jar. So personal thing, and uh, self uh, preferences is very important at this stage and you need to look after them if you're distilling some fruit or green wash uh, green blow wines that's absolutely fine to make a mistake it's not gonna be like a huge one for you as a beginner in, in distilling if you're already a distiller for years you know how you should run the distiller maybe just get used to the new one if you buy in from us anyway that's it for today i hope you like this video and subscribe on our youtube channel and don't forget to push the like button and write a comment it's very important for us because it's gonna work for the algorithm and it will uh, be very helpful for our youtube channel and our business uh, the whole thing if you're gonna have any questions Feel free to ask them in the comment section or write on our email, Gmail or anything, any way you like. The whole information is going to be in the description. And yeah, thank you for watching. Happy distilling.